everyone welcome back to another counter side video so today's video we are featuring nayubin or awaken nayubin's strategy and build guide but before that if you want updated counter side videos please hit the subscribe button down below okay so we're here at the uh, nayubin so recently awakened and recently released so nayubin is actually a counter six wings ssr and he's an awakened defender um kind of awakened heal this rival in terms of the space so ground type and also an all-around attacker which actually makes him more of an advantage over um awakened hilde what is crazy about nayubin is his stats for a defender he is pretty much very juiced up in terms of a lot of stats so let's talk about his strengths first so first is hp he he has the highest hp in the game right now period but this is only for southeast asian servers so he has the highest hp so bonkers for a defender um it's pretty much high his attack is above average and is pretty much very good for a defender at 4706 by the way, his HP is 69972. So it's a bit shy of uh, just a little bit of 70,000. Next would be his defense, which is also high. So I think he ranks in the top three in Southeast Asia server for defense at 1250, which is 55.57%, which is very good. Actually, then his last strength is going to be his evasion. For his evasion, guys, um, he is one of the top as well at uh, rating at high what with 1395 um, this is also at 63.57 percent which is actually crazy because you don't really need to buff him at this point for evasion um, but I might do <laughs> because it would you know it would contribute to your survivability let's talk about that later his weakness is actually both his crit and his hit which are both low crit is at 282 at 22.06% and hit is at 454 at 23.25% okay for Nayu Bin's skill info so basic skill and basic attack his valid hits is 2 which is good for a defender inflicts AoE damage on enemies on the front with impure energy again basic uh, attack damage is going to be a plus 20% maxed at level 5 he also has a passive, which is one of his best skills, actually. So, Valid hits his 3. When deployed, induces reflux of all enemy barriers. So, take note, for those who give out barriers, this is going to be a headache. You have their um, Yang Harim. You have their Aryas. So, a lot of uh, counters that give out barriers. So, again, be very careful even even what you call this um uh hilde is uh has bar has a barrier as well so canceling them and inflicting as much damage as their durability but take note some some barriers might not be cancelable okay so but afterwards decreases hp by two percent for every second for enemy towers okay so goodbye sigma goodbye marias uh, i don't think they're going to be showing up for this week and next week um until this guy is going to be banned so again towers are definitely going to be gone from pvp for a while also launches an aoe attack for every 12th incoming damage which induces barrier reflux these effects are not applied to bosses or ships so again this skill terrific debuffs again only just for her uh, for his passive so levels two three and four evasion has a plus 20 uh on his actually on his base evasion so as you add evasion this stat is going to be you know to to balloon up so level five all enemy units skill haste is a minus 30 added to the debuff so again skill haste is going to have a hit whoever is you're going to bring so again he's going to be a big headache with a lot of effects on the field um hurry up and build your nayu bin to level 110 because a lot are already bringing their nayu bin i recently encountered one match in pvp with a level 110 nayu bin as early as 
now. So again, it's going to be an arms race right now for PvP for Nayubit. So special skill, Void Ray. 22 seconds, valid hits is 2. Um, vibrates the Void, inflicting AoE damage on the enemies in front. The damage targets lose 15% of attack speed. So imagine you lose skill haste. You also lose attack speed. Okay, so damage of the skill increases by 25% up to level 4 if you max if you level 4 the skill. At level 5, special skill cooldown minus 3 seconds for every enhanced attack launch. So, so this skill also decreases its cooldown. So take note of that. So again, another debuff for <laughs> Nayu Bin. Ultimate skill is Wings of Destruction. It's a 40... 8 second cooldown. Valid hits is 3. Discharges the power of wings through his pulse blaster, inflicting AoE damage on enemies on fr in the front. The damage targets lose 15% of attack. Again, another debuff. Out of debuffs. Roughly, I count, there's going to be 5 debu debuffs in his kit. So you have here attack debuff. You have your um, attack speed debuff. You have your skill haste debuff. You have debuff for um, barriers. And you have debuff for towers. Okay. So those are those are basically your headaches that you're going to face. So that's around 5 that I counted. Um, this skill is level 2, 3, 4. Damage increase up to 25%. At level 5, the, the debuff becomes permanent. Okay. So, lose of attack of 15% 50, permanently. Again, he is the key to any battle right now. And um, I'm not sure what we're going to put up, put up against this guy. But again, he's going to have a, a, a variant of debuffs that... Um, will really affect a lot of gameplay until he's going to be bad. Okay, so we're here with Nayubin. I actually I'm I'm sorry. I just have to say sorry because um I was supposed to record um the pull but I ended up pulling him on the first 10 pulls. So um I'm sorry. Um I hope you guys have the luck that I have as well. Because again, it this uh, it's really a big you know th this is actually an opposite of what the luck what luck I had with Yuna. With Yuna, I had to pity. With him, I had one pull. So it's just a balance of my my bad luck before with Yuna with him. So again, <clears throat> I hope you guys understand. I don't. I hope you guys don't hate me for pulling him on a single ten pull. But again, luck balances out in this game. So I believe in that. So that is basically karma. So more or less, again, let's get back to his gear. So for his gear, um, gear sets, um, I think the best gear set for him would be to bump up his HP and bump up his defense. His evasion is actually already good. His max is already good. Unless if you want to concentrate more in evasion, then you, 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 you swap out defense for evasion or or hp for evasion but again my recommended set would be two two health and two defense for him okay in terms of gear stats as you can see here um more or less um damage reduction is one um ground damage reduction is actually one that you can you can uh, anti-defender damage Probably ground ground damage would be good. This these gears are not really you know um, we're not. I just swapped them in for now because I don't have good gears for defense except for the this hummingbird. But the rest are at tier five. I'd rather put him at tier six. So more or less again, um, ground defense reduction or resistance would be good. Additional evasion would be a good substat as well. Additional defense and hit. Hit is actually one of the things that you should be able to add to him because his hit is pretty much low. If you want him to hit consistently. Um, and uh, as you can see here, uh, movement gear for your, what do you call this? Movement gear for your accessories is, is better. So 
you have here um dante movement which is his primary um addition is going to be evasion which is very good to to bump up but for his tier six gears the one that i'm recommending definitely would be hummingbird um hummingbird uh in terms of gear is actually going to be very good let's take a look at uh, what hummingbird can give you guys as options so you have here anti-rage damage resistance or anti-melee damage resistance this is going to be actually good um i will you know um the anti-damage uh, anti-melee damage is going to be the best for him or damage taken Okay, as for option two, there are all others here that you can actually do like anti, if it's facing defenders, you could go anti-defender or you could go with skill haste so that he can, he could uh, bring out his skills more often, especially for his um, a special skill and, and, and ultimate skill. But again, option two is actually very much flexible. But if you want to build up on his um, others, his current strengths like HP, evasion hit and uh, defense then be my guest you could actually take them here so defense evasion hit um hp is not here so again those are your choices for him in terms of um the gear stats as for the other tier six gears let's take a look at um, my storage here another gear for gear six um let's filter this counter accessory um unfortunately hummingbird doesn't have armor but what i may suggest would be maze for armor accessory we'll have to check out um this one so gorgeous movement is actually one of the best tier six gears for him um damage resistance as well so you have here um i think anti-rage damage resistance or you could go with Gorgeous Crown, which is anti melee damage resistance, but the primary stat would be hit rather than evasion. So it's really up to you. Either you go with Gorgeous Movement or Gorgeous Crown. Um, I don't, I don't have any, you know, um, to equip him with, so I might as well um, do some, you know, changes in the gear sets for this one. Okay, so as far as his deployment is concerned, he already has a lot of debuffs. So what is your main goal when you deploy him or of, of course you deploy him at the front he has to stay alive as long as possible at this point i don't think we have a counter for nayu bin um we'll see in a couple of days probably weeks um it's going to be a nayu bin fest guys for everyone uh not really everyone but for most whales it's going to be a nine been fest most i think have level 110 already so again this is going to be um the theme here um if you use his skill have you see, if you see that simple very effective and um for his ultimate if you, you can see his wings out already so attacking with the wings with a very big gun so again um his deployment is very simple keep him alive he has a lot of debuffs as long as he is in the field the debuffs will will be staying some of them are permanent um like uh for the ultimate when he does the ultimate the 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 the, the attack the lowering of the attack will be permanent so again this is going to be a headache if you encounter him without your niobin yourself okay um let's take a look at um his effect on ground and air units so as you can see he can actually um attack both Sw switch on the ai and um let's do some ultimate so as you can see his attack it's hitting air and it's hitting ground so he is actually a very good defender probably as an all-around defender second uh, sorry first to um what do you call this to serapel so serapel for the value of being an ssr um, is actually going to be good because he uh, she is attacking air similar uh, air units similar to nayubin but again as you can see the value here you can actually 
you know, control air units with Nayubin, which is actually fantastic in our game. Especially with uh, Rosaria out. If you don't have a Awakened you on the field, right now she's banned. Nayubin will take care of her. Okay, guys. So my final thoughts for for Nayubin. Um, well, what can I say, guys? This guy is pretty much pretty much a headache. I was actually just lucky to get him. Um, lucky enough, I I'm actually very thankful because I could save up um, the rest of my classified. Um, uh, recruitment contracts for the next one so hopefully again guys hopefully you can get him he's a monster in pvp it doesn't matter if you don't get him up to 110 eventually you'll get there so more or less what can i say he's terrific for pvp for best a awakened ssr tank very overpowered right now in southeast ish so i would rate him a 10 out of 10 in pvp um f oh, sorry yeah for pvp for pve um his, his use is going to dip a bit um i didn't have prime training date i don't have anymore so we'll have this will have to wait but anyway pvp uh, pve is going to be a 3 out of 10 rarely used so for those who are Free to play players i would suggest the uh, you skip him the value for him is not really you know it's not really at par as you if you're getting a a yuna as a free to play player she's going to give you more value than him so that is my suggestion so again for 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 those who pay to win more or less they're going to get for free to play again i suggest you skip this banner <coughs> we'll look for the next banner or probably like me in my free to play account i'm looking forward to awaken yuna's banner the next time it cycles around hopefully i could get her from that because i created my free to play account late already because of the hundredth day event so anyway guys th those are my thoughts for awaken now you've been fantastic fantastic um counter awaken ssr so hopefully guys you find my video informative especially on the gears and how to equip me uh, how to equip him how to maximize him and okay that's it guys so for those who have stuck this far in this video hopefully you support my channel by subscribing and also don't forget to click that bell icon so that you don't miss any counter side videos also guys please do put a like to this video thank you guys stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here